Hello there. This video, we are going to talk about Seagate Backup Plus Slim Portable Hard Drive Repair and Data Recovery. Inside of a Seagate Backup Plus Slim Portable Drive is a Samsung 2.5 inches hard drive and a SATA to USB adapter. Seagate Backup Plus Slim Portable drive problems can be categorized into three. Problem one, SATA to USB adapter damage. Problem two, hard drive PCB board damage. Problem three, hard drive disk assembly damage. Problem one, SATA to USB adapter damaged. Solutions. One, fix the adapter directly. 2. Connect the hard drive to another SATA to USB adapter or external enclosure or another computer. Hard drive PCB board damage. If the hard drive PCB board is damaged, we have the two following options. 1. Fix the PCB board directly. 2. Swap the PCB board. For the most cases, swapping the PCB board is much more easier than fixing the PCB board. PCB board repair method 2. This picture shows the basic components on the PCB board and their functions. You may take this picture as a reference to fix your own PCB board. Breaking the port connector is very common in portable hard drives because the connector is soldered on the very thin PCB board. This is the most fragile part of a portable hard drive. One side of the connector is a heavy hard drive relatively to the thin PCB board. Another side is a fixed computer. The connector is like a fragile bridge in between. And also, every time when you use the portable hard drive, you need to plug and unplug the portable hard drive. Sometimes the power connector is broken, but most of the time it's the USB port is broken, and most likely the broken part is the thin PCB board, which is inside of a portable hard drive. PCB board swap step 1. Take the hard drive out from the enclosure, find out the brand name of the hard drive and the model number of the hard drive. Locate the PCB board number. Different brand name, different model number, different PCB board. The PCB board number and the location are different. If you have difficulty to find out the PCB board number of your hard drive, you may go to hdd-parts.com, input the hard drive model number and some information on the PCB board to find out a similar hard drive and a similar PCB board number as a reference so you can eventually find out your PCB board number. After knowing the hard drive model number and the PCB board number, you may use them as a reference to search for the correct donor board. We found the correct donor PCB board for the hard drive, but this is only the first step. The next step is we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. PCB board swap step 2 PCB board firmware transfer. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. What is the hard drive printed circuit board from a transfer and why? 1. One hard drive printed circuit board includes two parts, hardware 
and the firmware. Hardware means the components and the printed circuit board. Firmware, also called BIOS, are the data inside of the chip. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then, the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We call this as hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. Three things regarding the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. One, the printed circuit board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrading. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is to transfer the printed circuit board firmware from one board to another board. 2. Hard drive firmware upgrading is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It has nothing to do with another hard drive or another printed circuit board. 3. We can do the printed circuit board firmware transfer from the physically damaged printed circuit board, like burned, watered, or even other kinds of damages. Our printed circuit board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. We do the printed circuit board firmware transfer for our clients for free. What will happen if we do not do the printed circuit board from a transfer? For this model hard drive, if we put the donor board onto the hard drive without doing the printed circuit board from a transfer, the hard drive will spin, but the computer cannot detect the hard drive. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB board's BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the bias transfer, where is the bias of your PCB board? how to swap your PCB board. Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. This picture shows how can we help you to find the donor PCB board for your hard drive. 1. 
use your cell phone to take pictures of your hard drive and its PCB board. 2. Email the pictures to hddparts at gmail.com. 3. You will receive the donor PCB board information within 24 hours. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. There are some simple ways to recover data from a hard drive. One of them is try to read the hard drive by different devices, like different external hard drive adapters, computers, or enclosures. Because different devices use different ways to read a hard drive, sometimes this trick works. Another way is swapping the hard drive PCB board. Swapping the hardware PCB board can fix the problem caused by the PCB board. There is a cost in swapping the PCB board, but it is way cheaper than sending the hard drive to a data recovery firm. This picture shows how to use a fan to cool down the hard drive. This picture shows how to cool down the overheat chips which are under the PCB board. Disk firmware corruption symptom. The hard drive spins fine, but not accessible by any computer. Possible reason. Disk firmware corruption. Recommendation. Try disk firmware repair commands and tools like PC3000. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk firmware corruption. Disk assembly physical damage problem Symptom, the hard drive makes clicking, buzz, or other weird sound. The hard drive is not accessible by any computer. Possible reason, disk assembly physically damaged. Recommendation, try class 100, clean room disk assembly repairing. Do not open the hard drive in any open area like home or office. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk assembly physical damage. Common disk assembly problems. The hard drive disk assembly could be damaged by shocking, overheat, power surge, and many other reasons. The common symptoms of disk assembly problems are 1. The hard drive makes clicking, buzzy, or any other weird sound. 2. The hard drive does not spin. 3. The hard drive spins, but not detectable. 4. The hard drive is detectable, but with wrong size and not accessible. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client sends their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients.
Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.